Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. Today, we're going to talk about a seldom used and seldom known about property called the Tag property. And we're going to see one way you can use it in your Microsoft Access database. One little property that most people don't know about is a thing called the Tag property. And it's on the other tab. And it's down here called Tag. And it just says extra data to be stored with the object. They don't really tell you much about it, what it's used for, but you can do some pretty cool stuff with this little guy. Lots of things have a tag property, text boxes, check boxes, uh, forms themselves have a tag property. And it's just a place where you can store little extra bits of information, uh, basically for yourself to do something with. Let's say, I'm gonna give you one simple example and then tomorrow we're gonna go over a more detailed example. Let's say you wanna give the user some instructions when they go from field to field. Now, there's a couple ways you could already do this. You could use the control tip text, which is little text that pops up when they uh, hover over a field. That's, that's kind of boring. You can use status bar text, which is the little text that appears down here. And I got videos that cover both of these. But these, I don't know, these are kind of boring. Let's say you want to make yourself a nice big instructions label over here. And as the user moves from field to field, you want to display big instruction information in there for them. Kind of like I did right here, right? When they click on is active or tab to it, it says this is, you know, is this customer active on our mailing list, right? Explain what that field is all about. And this is nice and big. And as you move from field to field, this can change. Well, we can store that text in the tag property of each of those controls. And then as we change focus using our got focus and lost focus events, we can update this text. Now you're probably saying, Rick, why don't I just put that in the on got focus event itself, put the extra you know, text in there. Well, eh, this is just a better way to do it. It's easier. You don't have to have a separate event for each one of these guys. I'm going to show you a nice, cool, easy way to do it. All right. But first we got some prerequisites. I wasn't just gonna let you off easy. I'm gonna show you some neat new stuff, right? So first start off with intro to VBA. If you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this course. It'll teach you everything you need to know in about 20 minutes. We're going to use the screen.active control so we know what control we're sitting on so we can grab its tag property. We're gonna use the on God focus event. Now in this on God focus event video, it's a fast tip, so it's short. I did do something very similar, but I didn't use the tag property. So we literally hard coded it into each field's events, which we're going to avoid doing that in this video. But go watch this one. This will give you a good background. Today, we're going to do something much cooler. We're going to use an event handler function. So we can just put this in the event. We can just make a little function. And we don't have to send it any information because the data will be stored in the tag property. All right. So today, think of today like the on got focus uh, fast tip on steroids. Okay. All right, so this is my Tech Help free template. You can grab a copy of this database if you want to off of my website. Now, for the purposes of class, we're just going to delete all of this stuff over here. We don't need it. And I'm going to copy one of these labels, Control C and then Control V. And then we're going to bring that guy over here. This will be our instructions label. This is where the instructions will show up right there. And we'll format it. We'll make the text bigger, maybe 18 point. We'll make it blue. And we'll bold it. All right, so the user can't miss it. Okay. Now you're going to go to each property where you want to have instructions in it, like the customer ID here, and go to the tag property. It's on the other tab, right? This is the customer ID. You, whoop, you can't change it, right? Then we'll go to the is active text box, right? Uh, is the customer on our mailing list or not? Okay, stuff like that. First name. First name, duh, right? <laughs> last name, we'll put in here just last. Some of these are self-explanatory, right? Last name, um, primary email address, phone number. I'm just putting this stuff in here now so it shows up. Ad address, you might want to have street address only, that kind of stuff. All right, you know, country, that kind of stuff. So you put all your tags in here. Okay, save it. So all that data is stored in form design. You don't have to go into your VBA if you want to change it. It's much, much easier for you as a developer too. Now, we're going to use a little function that's going to say, hey, what field is the user on? Which field has focus? All right, what is the active control? And I'm going to get that tag and put the tag in the 
instruction label. We got to name this guy. I forgot to name it. Let's call this instructions. Let's call it instruction label. And the initial caption can be blank. You can make it blank. Blank it over here, though. Don't blank it in here because then it'll resize and get all messed up. Always change it in the caption property over here. All right, instruction label. So we're going to put the tag from here in the instruction label caption. Okay, so let's go to our VBA editor. Now, I put a little button up here on my control tip so I can hit view code, and it brings me right into the VBA editor. If you don't have that, then you can just go to any one of these guys here. Just go to events, pick any event, and it'll drop you in here. I'm just going to delete that event. Okay, so let's go up top. We're going to make two little functions. They have to be functions, right, for event handlers. So private function show tip like that. Okay, instruction uh, label, instruction label dot caption equals screen dot active control dot tag. So give me the tag property of the active control and put that in the instruction labels caption. And if I move off of that, everybody should camel case, we're good. That's it, one line of code, right? Then we're gonna make a hide tip function. So private function hide tip. And this literally is this is empty string, okay? Debug, compile, save it, close it, close it, ah, <laughs> close it, open it. Now, it's not working yet, why? Well, we gotta specify those functions in the on got focus and on lost, lost focus events for these different boxes. So this is where it comes in handy because open up the properties, right, like that. And now, just pick all of the fields individually. So click on one, hold down the shift key, click on the other ones, or you can draw a box that touches them. Make sure you get just the text boxes though, not the labels at all. All right, so I got all of the text boxes selected. Now that I've done that, I can go to on got focus and I can say equals show tip like that. And that sets that for all of those controls. And for lost focus equals hide tip. And if you don't have any controls on here that don't have tips in them, you don't even need the hide tip because if you tab from one field to the other, if they all have tips in them, right, then show tip will just show the next tip. But I've got a couple down here that don't have tips. You could, you probably don't need tips in like first name, last name, and so on like that. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, save it, close it, open it. Yeah, see? Yeah? Yeah? Isn't that nice? Right? Now you probably noticed when the form opened, it didn't run. So we also have to fire that event when the form opens. But here's the problem. When the form opens, screen.activeControl doesn't have a value yet. Watch this. Here, design view. Let's go into the either onload or on open, or I know some of you were thinking on current, right? All three of those run when the form first opens, but at that point, the screen.active control doesn't have a value, right? So if I put in here show tip at that point, it doesn't run, see? Because the screen.active control doesn't have a value. So what do you think? How would you solve this problem? How would you get this to run the first time without having to hard code the text, right? How would you get it to get that tag property when the form opens? Anybody pause the video and see if you can figure it out and put your comments down below if you think you've got it solved before watching the rest of the video. I'll give you the solution in just a second. All right, the key is to use a timer event with a very, very short pause. I've covered this in a couple of videos. So what we're gonna do is in the forms properties, let me get rid of this on load that I put in here. Hold on. Get rid of you. Goodbye. All right. In the forms properties, we're going to find the timer interval and set that to something really short, like 500. That's, that's half a second, right? These are milliseconds, milliseconds, right? And for the on timer event, we're going to come in here and we're going to say show tip and then 
me dot timer interval equals zero. That effectively turns the timer off. So the form will open, screen that active control will get its value because you'll have focus on a field now, show tip will run, and then the timer gets turned off, right? All right, so we got to debug compile once in a while. Close it, close it, open it, and there it is. See, it takes a second, but it shows up. You can make that timer interval really short too. That half a second might even be too long. Let's try 200 in here. Don't go too short though. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. See, and now it just runs. See? I cover that timer interval trick in this load faster video. This is great. It's, a, it's an awesome trick to do if you've got stuff that calculates, like you got a, a form that opens, like a dashboard form, and it's got sales it's got to calculate. What you do is you load the form first so all the fields and everything displays. And then you have that timer event kick off the calculations, right? And so the form displays, the user sees something, and then you can have this show up while it's actually calculating. Otherwise, if you've got those all in a bound, you know, uh, functions bound into your, your text boxes like that, the user sees nothing while the calculations are going on in the background. Now, coming up tomorrow, we're going to do something else with the tag property. We're going to loop through all of the fields on a form. What we're going to do is in this edit mode video, go watch this before tomorrow. We basically, when we open up a form, it's locked, right? Every, every field on here is locked so people don't accidentally make changes. If you want to edit the data, you click edit mode and then it flips over to where you can edit it. But in this video, we're using the allow edits property, which affects every field on the form. So using the tag property, what we can do is we can lock whichever fields we want to be locked, leave some of them open. Like maybe you want to leave notes open or something like that, right? Just you can, with the tag property, just mark the fields you want locked. Then when they go into edit mode, we can loop through all of the controls on the form and only lock the ones that are supposed to be locked. So we'll do that tomorrow in our tech help video. And of course, if you like this stuff, if you like learning with me, if you enjoy my, my programming lessons, go check out my developer lessons on my website. Got lots of them. I'm up to like 50 now. So if you want to learn VBA programming and access, this is the place to do it. But that is going to do it for today, folks. That is your tech help video. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month. And yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it.
Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.